Hi guys, it's Angela. Welcome back to my channel. This is Super Lil. So, I am... It is January 9th, 2024. And I'm just going over some things with you guys that... I don't know. Were fitting in the cards. <laughs> between 2023 and 2024. So far. Um... And what I'm about to experience for the second time um, when I go into the hospital tomorrow. So if you guys are just tuning in, December, I've had breathing problems for the last three years. I've had some minor to major health issues in the last several years. And no one's figured it out. December 8, 2023, I went into the hospital because I couldn't breathe. Um, I could not catch my breath. And I had been told up to this point that it was, um, uh, asthma and they just kept throwing more medication at me, which none of it worked. Um, I was told that it was, uh, acid reflux, which I had never had acid reflux before in my life before this, but all of a sudden it was apparently acid reflux and they just kept throwing medication at it that did not work. Uh, I went into the hospital December 8th in the emergency room at 11 o'clock at night. I was turning blue. I could not catch my breath. Um, they put a oxygen on my finger and said, you're, well, your oxygen is normal. I'm like, how is that possible? I'm turning blue. I couldn't talk. I couldn't breathe. Um, they did an EKG. It came up normal. Here's where it gets interesting because they put me on oxygen. The oxygen helped a lot, but I still wasn't breathing. They wheeled me back into the back and there was like 40 people in the emergency room. I was like, I'm never getting out of here. I'm never getting seen. And yet they wheeled me back very quickly. Um, they noticed that my ankles were swollen and that's when I realized, okay, there's a problem because my ankles are very dainty, small ankles and you couldn't see them. There was so much water on my legs and feet and I was like, okay, this is not right. So they did an, a chest x-ray and they came back and said, oh, you're in congestive heart failure. Your lungs are drowning. This is why you can't breathe. And I'm like, what? So if we back up over the last three years, Prior to this, I have had stress test done, which I passed somehow. I had an asthma test done, which I failed. And if you are in congestive heart failure, it can pretend it's asthma and you will still fail a asthma test because it's breathing. And if you can't breathe, you're going to fail the tests. <laughs> uh, I don't have asthma. So it's not asthma and it just a heads up, spoiler alert. It wasn't acid reflux either. It was congestive heart failure. And I have had asthma tests done, which I failed. I had a stress test done, which I passed. I've had x-rays done. I've had sonograms done on my heart specifically. All of them came back normal in the last three years. And yet all of my breathing issues were contributed to congestive heart failure, which somehow was not caught the first 20,000 times somebody checked it out. And I'm like, I don't get it. And I kept saying, it's this, it's this, it's this, it's check this, check that. And at one point, nobody was listening anymore because they're like, there's nothing, it's in her head. There's nothing wrong with her and uh, nothing more wrong with her. So fast forward to December 8th when they did the chest x-ray and they're like, oh, you've got congestive heart failure. I'm like, that's not possible. Um, I've had all these tests done and that's when the doctor started really realizing because I had had all these tests done in the same hospital. Um, they started looking back at my record and realizing, oh my God, she's right. Like all these tests were coming back normal. Now they were all coming back wrong. Um, the chest x-ray showed I, my lungs were drowning they gave me uh, something called Lasix to basically pee it all out, which started helping a lot. Um, they did a sonogram, which came back abnormal, uh, very, very wrong. And they're like, yeah, you, uh, we, we, they went as so far as to say that I was having a mild heart attack, which if you remember when I got there, they did an EKG and it was normal. So 
I'm finding that heart attacks, heart failure can, can, that's why they call it the silent killer because it can manifest itself very differently in individuals. And on the outside looking in, everything was normal. But when they took a deeper look, they're like, no, this isn't right. Then they did another test, which I will be going back tomorrow to have the same test done. It's, it's only because they're going in, they go in with a camera, they fill you full of this crap that lights everything up, shows the blockages, they go in and fix it while they're in there. So that's the same exact test I'm going to do tomorrow. It's not really a test. They know they're going in and fix something because I already got, I have two more arteries that need fixed, but they wind up doing an emergency um, stent and two balloons on one of my arteries and it made my breathing a hundred percent better. Like I'm still having a slight issue, but it was to the point where I couldn't walk to my front door and answer the door without being out of breath. That's how bad it was. And I was doing two jobs at the same time. I'm like, I don't know how I didn't fall out. Um, it's crazy. This whole thing has been insane. And so without further blabbering, because I've been on for six minutes, I want to talk about the three of swords. Now, back in November, my sister-in-law had me do a tarot spread for her husband. I kept pulling this card from the unfolding path tarot. And finally, I was like, does he have any kind of heart issues going on? Turns out they had just found out he had several blockages and was going in for open heart surgery the following week. And nobody knew but her and him. And yet the card knew. And I was like, that's insane. Insane. Since then, of course, I had my heart issue going on. And I pulled from my Latero or Arthurian the moon card when I was talking because I never pull for myself anymore. <laughs> this is why. Uh, because it's a, I'll show you why in a minute. So I pulled the lay tarot from the lay tarot Arthurian, which is Anatorian's, uh, artwork. Um, I don't, what did I do with the box? The box was somewhere here, but, uh, it's the French, uh, mass market deck. And I pulled this, well, first of all, I said, is there a spirit here with me? And I pulled the two of cups and then I pulled, uh, you know, what message that, you know, and I pulled the moon card where to me, the moon is hiding things. According to some people, the moon is a card about hidden things coming to light. Um, and at the time I didn't know about this heart thing yet. <laughs> well, actually I did. This was right after right after that happened. Yeah. I think the week after. Um, and then I said, I don't know who this is. It's a male or female. And I said, can you clarify who's here? And I got the king and queen of swords. Um, they're an older couple and are not swords. One, excuse me. It's fire. Hello. Uh, the only, the first two people I thought of and the only two people I thought of, um, and realized, oh my God, was my grandfather and grandmother because, uh, and I love how she did the Kings and Queens in this deck where they, they're like the King of Swords and Queen of Swords are playing a game of chess. These two are t having a, a conversation at, around a fire. Um, my grandmother and grandfather were very one spirit, <laughs> very wandsy spirited people uh especially my grandfather he died when i was 17 of a heart attack uh after he had had several balloons several stents put in he wound up going to check the cows one day and my grandma said hey don't be late for dinner dinner will be done before dark he never came back my uncle went to find him and he was found leaning over a tree stump on his hands and knees, well, on his knees with his hands interlocked praying, he still had fresh tears running down his face and he was dead. And I almost picture it. I wasn't there, but I could almost picture that moment where he knew something was happening to him and he was praying to God or whoever to, I don't even think to save him, to just protect him on his journey. And then my grandmother 
20 something years later just recently passed and i can guarantee you without a doubt he was waiting for her and i just found it interesting that and she also had heart issues prior to her passing she didn't die of the heart issues but she had heart issues prior to her passing uh, and I just found it very interesting that right after I had this major upset, uh, and I was very angry because nobody had caught this for so long. It diminished a lot of my lifespan, I feel like. Um, maybe now it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll correct itself with when they go in tomorrow and fix the other two arteries. But for the longest, I was angry. And then I pulled these cards and I'm like, so I'm not alone. They're with me. <laughs> and I just found that mind blowing and it endeared this deck to me tremendously because I'm like, I'm like, who, and when I first pulled it, I'm like, who's here with me? I'm like, why is there a dude and a woman? And then when I pulled this, I'm like, oh, it's my grandma, and grandpa. They're here with me. They're watching over me while I'm going through this. And it just, it was very mind blowing to me, um, to know that they were there watching over me, protecting me uh with all this going on and then the i did a january spread or a year ahead spread for the year and once again i pulled the the energy going into january i pulled the three of swords <laughs> the heartbreak card is literally a broken heart and i'm like that's so fitting for january i'm going into january knowing i have a broken heart that's getting fixed um, and it just blew my mind. And then I pulled the three of swords a couple other times. Um, I pulled the very first card I actually ever, this is from my Illuminati, ever resonated with was the three of swords. I did a whole blog post on this three of swords about how I actually saw past the heart with the swords and I saw the storm and the rocks beating against the, the waves beating against the rocks and the lightning and thunder and the pouring rain in the background. And all of a sudden I heard this voice say, don't worry, the storm will pass. Your rainbow is coming. And I'm like, what? And that's literally the first time my intuitiveness stepped in and took over. And I was either hearing from a guide, a higher self, an, an ancestor, someone telling me whatever you're going through right now, it sh too shall pass. Um, and I pretty much feel like this was the start of the breathing issues, the heart issues. Um, I just didn't know it yet. And it took three years. <laughs> and then I want to show you guys from tarot or oracle uh tarot of the abyss anatorium she has two three of swords and i just keep finding the three of swords somehow i keep seeing it i keep finding it i've watched three separate videos from three separate people on youtube in the last three days at three days i say because of three of swords and it's been three days um since i started watching people that do Virgo, you know, they do the horoscopes and they all pulled the three of swords. And I'm like, what is happening? And it's just reminding me your heart is broken. It's getting fixed, you know, calm down. Um, <laughs> it just, and I find it interesting that, and you see that something just flew by. Um, I, I even said, if this, get, if this is going to go wrong, give me a heads up. Let me know ahead of time. I want to see somebody or, talk to somebody before this happens so i know what's going to happen and i have yet to hear or see anything so um and just the fact that my grandma and grandpa showed up in the cards lets me know that at least they're standing by watching over protecting um in a sense so and i actually got a really overwhelming feeling yesterday that they were uh, not just them but i have an uncle that passed of heart failure as well uh, my grandmother that I love dearly on my dad's side died of congestive heart failure. Um, it runs rampant on both sides of my family. <laughs> so the fact that I caught it when I did is a miracle because they weren't so lucky. And uh, my grandmother, I, I, I almost felt like they were lining up around me in a protective bubble. Like, you're going to be okay. We're with you. Everything's okay. And as I, I get closer to that time, it makes me more anxious. But the more I pull the three of swords, the more it's like, okay, you're okay. <laughs> we're, 
we know it's broken, but you're going to get fixed. And it just, it kind of, it's weird. And then I wanted to show you the last card I wanted to show you was my, one of my favorite, which I didn't put it in the Deacon. I showed all the Wheel of Fortunes because the Wheel of Fortune is my card of the year this year. Um, because I take my birthday plus the year. Um, so it would be 9 to plus 2024 20, and add them all up. And I got the Wheel of Fortune. This is from the Tarot, uh, Mystical, Tarot of the Mystical Moments. And I totally forgot a space on this card when I saw it or when I did the, showed all the Wheel of Fortune off. But this one blows my mind because it's, the wheels are turning, but they're all heart centered. And I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> So I feel like almost the three of swords and the wheel of fortune are tied together this year for me, at least in the month of January. Um, I don't remember what I did on my year ahead spread. What card? I think it was the ace of wands. Um, maybe the ace of wands. It was an ace of some sort, but, uh, for the, for the month of January, but that's also all about beginnings, right? Like, any of the aces can be construed as a beginning of something. And I'm really taking stock of how I want my life to continue. Do I want to continue in the stagnant formation? And I've been stagnant for the last three or four years because of the health issues. That is getting corrected tomorrow. So do I want to sit around and self-pity? Or do I want to affect the will of change, the will of fortune, and enact it in a certain way and take advantage of it and do things I've never done, finish that book that I've started and things like that. So that's kind of the, what's been going on <laughs> with me. And it's just crazy because every time I turn around, I'm pulling this three of swords and I'm pulling the wheel of fortune and it all seems intermingled and tied together. So, that is all I have for you guys right now. Um, I, for some reason, felt, felt the overwhelming need to do this video and show um, what my December or January, even November, was like. It just I've just been pulling these cards one after another. And I've also pulled the devil card a lot, which I never pull the devil card. And I think that's just my own anxiety getting in the way because i am a virgo i overthink everything like we've got a huge massive snowstorm started yesterday into today it's still snowing its butt off we got like, several inches which we never get at one time uh normally and i was like oh my god what if i'm on the table and the power goes out tomorrow or wednesday and they're like my co-workers yesterday were like you know they have generators that's ridiculous <laughs> so um yeah it's just um i know that i keep saying oh they're gonna get it fixed it's quick fix blah 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 and it is old hat compared to when my grandfather first had balloons put in uh which i thought about that yesterday as well i'm like it's we've they've come a long way since when he first had to have his done uh because his was a whole thing he had to heal for a long period of time i was in and out of the hospital. Like I went to work the day after I got out of the hospital. Um, I don't have an overly physical job, which is why. Um, and I only scheduled off tomorrow and Thursday and then Friday I'll go back to work. <laughs> like nothing happened. Um, but I also do acknowledge that it is a serious situation. They're going into your heart, into the veins, and there could be a plethora of things that go wrong, but I'm choosing not to think of that even after I continue to pull the three of swords repeatedly. I feel like that's just, every time I pull a three of swords now, it's like an ancestor saying, I'm here. I got you. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And y'all have a good night. Bye.